12 o'clock high, soaring high in television history, step back in time to the golden age of television, and y'all discover a captivating war drama that took the nation by storm in 1964. 12 o'clock high. This timeless TV series, set amidst the backdrop of World War II, gripped the hearts of viewers with its compelling storytelling, exceptional performances, and a raw portrayal of the realities of war. 12 O'Clock High follows the courageous and tormented members of the United States Army Air Force's 918th Bombardment Group, stationed in England during WWII. The show delves into the emotional toll and moral dilemmas faced by the soldiers as they navigate the harrowing missions and the strain of command. The series masterfully juxtaposes thrilling aerial combat sequences with intimate character developments, making it a unique and unforgettable viewing experience. One of the reasons for the show's immense popularity was its talented ensemble cast, led by the remarkable Robert Lansing, who played the dedicated and firm but compassionate Brigadier General Frank Savage. Lansing's powerful portrayal of the group's leader struck a chord with the audience, bringing a sense of authenticity to the character's internal struggles and leadership challenges. Alongside Lansing, the series featured the exceptional talents of Paul Burke, who played Colonel Joe Gallagher, and Chris Robinson as Lieutenant Sandy Kamansky, both contributing significantly to the show's emotional depth and camaraderie among the crew. The compelling combination of wartime heroism, deep-seated human emotions, and the intricate dynamics of command allowed 12 O'Clock High to resonate with audiences on a profound level. Week after week, viewers tuned in, forming a deep attachment to the characters and their experiences, eagerly following their journey through triumphs and tribulations. To this day, 12 O'Clock High remains an influential classic, a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of war dramas. If you were among the millions who watched this riveting series or have any fond memories of its impact on your life, we invite you to share your thoughts and experiences. Relive the heroism, feel the adrenaline of aerial battles, and witness the bonds forged amidst the chaos of war, 12 O'Clock High continues to stand the test of time, reminding us of the sacrifices made by those who served. Do you have any fond memories of this timeless TV series? Share your recollections and let us know how 12 O'Clock High touched your life. In Season 1, Episode 7 of the iconic TV series 12 O'Clock High from 1964, titled Decision, viewers witness an intense and emotionally charged journey through the harrowing world of aerial combat in World War II. Brigadier General Frank Savage, played by Robert Lansing, finds himself unexpectedly in the co-pilot's seat of a warplane, marking a pivotal moment in the series. The show, known for its gripping portrayal of the courageous men of the 918th Bomb Group, offers a riveting perspective on the challenges faced by the U.S. 8th Air Force during perilous missions over war-torn Europe. Decision delves deep into the inner struggles and moral dilemmas experienced by the brave airmen, making General Savage's extraordinary moment even more significant. As the episode unfolds, General Savage, a commanding leader, faces a sudden and unprecedented situation, shifting his perspective and deepening his understanding of leadership. This moment showcases his ability to adapt to unpredictable situations, highlighting themes of camaraderie, sacrifice, and the impact of war on the human psyche. Throughout the episode, Lansing's powerful portrayal of General Savage leaves a lasting impression on viewers, especially during the emotional climax where difficult choices determine the fate of his men and the mission's success. Decision captures the essence of 12 O'Clock High, celebrated for its authenticity, storytelling, and character development. General Savage's unique experience in the co-pilot's seat remains etched in fans' memories as a symbol of indomitable spirit during one of history's most challenging periods. The episode stands as a testament to exceptional storytelling and Robert Lansing's brilliance in portraying General Frank Savage. In conclusion, Decision serves as a profound reminder of the human side of warfare and the sacrifices made by those who fought. 12 O'Clock High is an immortal piece of television history, and Decision is a crowning jewel in its legacy, leaving a lasting impact on all who experienced its powerful narrative and emotional depth. The extraordinary episode continues to inspire generations with its gripping storytelling and emotional resonance. 
In the mid-1960s, the TV series 12 O'Clock High emerged, leaving a mark on global viewers. Set during World War II, it captivated with aerial combat and emotional portrayals of brave men fighting for freedom. To secure sponsors, producers approached Volkswagen, showing real bombing footage. Surprisingly, the plant being targeted in the film was Volkswagen's, which had manufactured for the German army. Uncomfortable with this revelation, Volkswagen declined sponsorship. Despite this setback, the show found other supporters and became a classic. It depicted the 8th Air Force's struggles and the true cost of war, resonating with audiences. Over the decades, 12 O'Clock High continued to inspire, reminding us of wartime sacrifices. Its legacy endures as a testament to storytelling's power, encompassing courage, historical revelations, and the human spirit. Step back in time to 1964, when TV series like 12 O'Clock High transported audiences to the heroic heart of WWII. Notable for its genuine airborne footage, the show's authenticity captivated viewers. The acclaimed documentary Memphis Bell contributed valuable scenes to the series. Additionally, the vintage aircraft DB-17 P-44-83584, now at Edward T. Maloney's Air Museum, was moved to Chino, enhancing the show's realism. The aircraft became an integral part of the series, not just a static prop but a dynamic element for taxiing and crew sequences. With the cameras rolling, it embodied the spirit of gallant aviators and added an air of nostalgia to the show. 12 O'Clock High was a heartfelt tribute to WWI's heroes, honoring their bravery and camaraderie. The series served as a window into history, reminding us of the sacrifices made by the greatest generation. As DB-17 P-44-83584 took the spotlight, it became a symbol of human resilience and determination. Its metamorphosis from veteran to revered actor showcased the magic of storytelling. Ultimately, 12 O'Clock High stands as a timeless testament to WWII heroism, its authentic elements elevating it to iconic status. As viewers, we witness the bravery of a generation that shaped our world today. Step into 12 O'Clock High, a captivating TV series set in 1964, showcasing the courage of WWII soldiers. Brigadier General Frank Savage is the charismatic leader portrayed brilliantly on screen. His iconic A2 leather flight jacket symbolizes bravery and camaraderie of daring pilots flying into enemy territory. As the series progresses, Savage's attire evolves with sharp collar points and stars at the center of epaulets, signifying his leadership's weight. The cigarette pouch reflects the stresses these warriors faced. Expansion gussets demonstrate adaptability in the face of adversity. 12 O'Clock High beautifully captures wartime heroism and the indomitable spirit of those who served. Savage's journey symbolizes the sacrifices of WWI's brave men and women. The series reminds us of their courage and determination in the face of war's perils. It serves as a timeless tribute to the human spirit and unwavering commitment in darkness. Experience the thrilling world of 12 O'Clock High, where bravery knows no bounds and camaraderie soars. A poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by those before us, securing our freedoms. In the throes of World War II, the TV series 12 O'Clock High captivated viewers with gallant pilots, and brave commanders, notably Brigadier General Frank Savage. Despite an oddity in his rank as a group commander, the allure of the title added grandeur to the narrative. The anomaly stemmed from the creative decision of the original 1949 film and was fleetingly acknowledged in the 1965 TV adaptation. Still, General Savage's charisma and leadership style resonated with audiences, making him an enduring character. Each episode delved into war complexities and soldier psychology, reminding us of the human capacity to overcome adversities. Imperfections in fiction coexisted with gripping narratives, shaping a tale of resilience and honor. The journey through tumultuous skies with the 918th Bomb Group taught us about the unyielding pursuit of duty, and unity in the face of challenges. With this, the tale of 12 O'Clock High and Brigadier General Frank Savage comes to an end, leaving a profound appreciation for the timeless art of storytelling. Etched in memory, the series stands as a beacon of valor and camaraderie.